Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio, and I'm here to talk about protecting your investment and protecting your seat on your new motorcycle. So it's rally time of the year. Daytona rally is going on right now. We know we're gonna see Myrtle Beach and Panama City and Sturgis, so many other rallies all over the country that you may be going to. One of the things that we saw happen the last few years, and, and it's a little rare, but man, I would be so upset, is that people buy these super nice bikes and you got a really nice, comfortable seat that you spend a lot of money on and you're holding it on with a Phillips screw or a thumb screw on top of that. And somebody can walk up to your bike right after you get out of distance of being able to see that they're there and they can easily remove and steal your seat. When this happens though, it's not just that. A lot of times they're still in the ECM as well. So now you come back to your bike, it won't run and your seat is gone. Why do they steal your seat? Well, they're terrible people, number one. Number two, they're very, very easy to sell in all the groups. So they can post your seat in one of the different groups on Facebook, and very easily they're gonna sell it for a profit. So it's very easy to take your seat, it's very easy to make the money, and these people are opportunistic. So they do it at these rallies. It could also happen though, sitting anywhere else you're at. So Robert Becker has came out with a great design. It's called, a, it's, a, it's his seat log design. It's all billet aluminum. It's all made in the US. It's a veteran owned company and he has specific locks for your solo seat, for your full seat, for your tri-glide seats and those RG3s and the freewheelers. I wanna show you all the different products he has. I wanna show you what you can get them on volunteeraudio.com and I'm gonna show you how easy they are to install and how well they're gonna protect your investment. So hang out and watch the rest of this video. All right, so I wanna take a second. I wanna show you the different options there are when you're selecting a seat lock for your Harley Davidson. First off, that threaded insert that's at the base of your seat, I want you to know it's the same thread from 1998 all the way through the brand new 2024 model. So if you're looking at a standard seat lock, all of those are gonna be the same. So very, very simple. It's gonna come with a part like this. This is the actual new threaded bolt that you'll thread in on your seat. So you'll just by hand thread this down until it's about tight. You're then gonna take your Robert Becker lock. You unlock my lock. When it's unlocked, this little pin is gonna be coming out the end of it. You're gonna lock that. And when you lock it, you're gonna see that goes in. That pin fits into this half moon circle. This is now the tool that you tighten the bolt with. So you tighten your bolt on down till it's tight. At that point, you're gonna unlock your, your lock again. So now it's back to unlocked. It's gonna press a little further down. It's gonna go over this O-ring and you're gonna press that in. At that point, you can rotate the lock and it will free spin and not undo the threaded part. So at that point, there's no way for someone to easily steal your seat. It's actually gonna be really, really hard to get this off because this is free spinning around that aluminum that's underneath there. Now that's for a basic seat. So that'd be more so like the CVO I have here and we're just doing the back of the seat. A lot of you have what we call a solo seat. If you have a solo seat, meaning when you take the back little pillow off, you have two threaded bolts that hold the middle part or the front part of your seat down on your solo seat. So you're gonna get two parts. First, you're gonna get a new threaded bolt that's gonna go on on one side. On the other side, you're gonna get this. This is our new version. As you notice, we have this extra recess, just like we have on this bolt for our rear seat section to slide and lock into. We also are gonna have the same design and sense that our lock is gonna be our tool. We're gonna to do this by hand until it's about tight. We're gonna use our lock to get it all the way tight. Then the lock's gonna go over and there's nothing for someone to grab to try to, to unlock this or take it off to steal your seat, to get under your seat. Next option would be RG3. It's been super popular. I love those bikes, that road glide front end on that three-wheeler platform. And it's a very minuscule, very stripped down version compared to a full on tri-glide. We have this right here. So you need, a, it's got a recess where the seat goes on. So you need a little bit more room. What Robert's done, which is great, is he's put this spacer here. It's a composite, but it free spins. 
because it free spins when this is down on there and it's tight, you cannot grab this and try to get it loose. Same idea, just a longer bolt, and this is gonna fit your RG3. It's also gonna fit the freewheeler. So maybe you've got just a freewheeler. I really like those as well. And you wanna protect your really expensive nice seat you've put on, you can get one of these locks also. Last but not least, tri-glides. Tri-glides have a really big recess. I'm gonna show you here in a few minutes. I'm gonna install this on a tri-glide. I'm gonna show you how it works. Another big composite spacer on our shaft here that free spins. So someone can't get a hold of this and try to steal your seat. They have to be able to unlock it. But this is gonna bring that lock up high enough where it's easy for you to get to. You may also, you guys, with your ultras, with your tour pack, Similar idea, you could use this on those. It's gonna make it much easier to get to when you're trying to unlock and remove or install your seat. I like that a lot. All of these options are gonna be available at volunteeraudio.com. Now on your tri-glide, there's really just gonna be black or chrome lock options. RG3, freewheeler, standard seat locks are gonna be available in all of these different color options. And there's also another one that's not pictured on here. There's a green. That, that looks pretty good, very close to the snake venom green. So lots of options. We got black with a black lock. We have black with a chrome lock. We got chrome with chrome locks. There's gold ones, there's brass ones, black, red, green, yellow, orange. There's so many options are all on the website. So you can look through those, see what they cost. They're all different. There'll be a link above to click to get to that. Also in the description to get that as well. In stock at volunteeraudio.com. What I like about the build quality though, I want to talk about build quality for a minute is None of this is made in China. It's all made here in the US, every last bit of it. It's all CNC machined from solid blocks of aluminum. It's then embosed and coated here in the US. So all of this is top quality. You pay for quality, but you know our motto, quality over quantity. We wanna buy it one time. We wanna buy a really good quality lock set so we never have to do this again. Now keep watching, I'm gonna go over next. I wanna show you how to install our solo lock and our standard seat lock. And then we'll move on and I'll show you how to do those tri-glide locks. All right, so I've got a 23 and a half CVO Whiskey Neat Road Glide. This is one of our shop bikes here for developing all of our new audio. Uh, and I just wanna show you how this lock is gonna be installed. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking that normal thumb screw that Harley supplies you with off, and that's gonna take my little rear seat and allow us to remove it. All it does is just slide backwards. All right, so next, because we're down to our solo seat, you're going to see what's here. It's just these factory threaded little bolts. And you could tighten these on down with a big wrench, but most people don't because you still want access to this. If you were to get out and you had a dead battery or you needed to get under the seat, you want to have access to get there. So we don't normally over tighten these. We're going to compare these to our new parts. All right, so this was our original bolt that we're taking off. And here is our new one from Robert Becker. We have two parts. We're gonna have our locking part and then we're gonna have our standard stud. No need to lock both of these. If one of these is locked, that's gonna be enough. So I'm just gonna screw this one down. And this is really just to hold that back seat in place. So again, we're just gonna go hand tight with that one. It doesn't have to be overly tight. Now we're gonna take our lock version and we're gonna put it on. So hand tightening it down. Now available in chrome or black. I just used a chrome one just to show you how it works. You're not really gonna see it either way. So here's the chrome one with the chrome lock. I'm gonna lock that lock and it's gonna push that pin in. Now I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna use it to tighten this further. So I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna drop it down till it falls into that hole. Once you've went around a little bit, you can go to the other side. You're just rotating this around and using it to tighten this lock down. It's really not hard to do. We're all gonna do this by hand. All right, so I've got it really tight at that point. I'm gonna take now, I'm gonna take my key and I'm just gonna unlock my lock. So that pin is now sticking out. I'm gonna push it down on here all the way. Push that back in. Now my lock free spins without letting my bolt come out. I can push it inward like that. And as you see, if I, did, if I wanted to remove this, my solo seat's now installed. These aren't really standing out. Again, that's available in black or chrome. So you can pick whatever color you want. Now at that point, take my original seat, my little rear cushion, I'm gonna put it back on. It's gonna feed right back into those little nubs. All right, 
guys. I got it in place. A little tricky on that one. Now I've got my factory lock hole there. My factory seat bolt hole. It's gonna hold the rear part on. So now I'm gonna unlock that lock. Now we have these in matching sets. So you can actually buy this where the same key operates all your locks. We also have bag lock sets too. So you can lock the bags on to keep people from being able to steal your bags. So same idea, I'm gonna have it locked. Press it down on here, I'm tightening it with the lock. Once I've got it locked, I'm just gonna unlock it, which I can take it back off to do that. Once that pins out, I can push it all the way down, lock it, and now there's no way anybody's gonna be able to steal my seat. Now we're good to go to our rally, we're good to go to bike night, we're good to go and eat dinner just outside of the site of our bike without worrying about somebody stealing the seat. This seat would bring big money on one of the groups, one of the forums. It's just a factory CVO seat. I bet you'd still get seven, $800 out of it. So very, very quickly, somebody could steal your seat. They're gonna make some money and you're gonna have a bad day because now you're trying to find another seat for your bike. All right, so we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you how to do this on a triglide. All right, so check this seat out. So this is a new CVO triglide. And it is a very, very nice seat. This seat is heated. It is stitched to match everything to do with the tour pack. And I'm sure if this was missing, it would cost a lot of money to get it replaced. So I'm gonna show you how to secure this, leak down, this seat down with our Robert Becker lock. First, we're gonna start, we're just gonna, just gonna raise up our tour pack lid and we're gonna get back here to our bolt. And you'll see there's a threaded, just a straight headed bolt in the back holding the seat on. I'm gonna remove that with my straight screwdriver it's also a thumb screw, so if you were out on the side of the road somewhere, you could get to it pretty easily. Okay, the thing about these bolts are, as you notice, they're a lot longer than a standard seat bolt. Our solution from Robert Becker is a replacement. Look how nice this is. It's all aluminum, it's all machined, and then it has this composite, this is stainless actually, it has this composite sleeve. Our lock is gonna all be aluminum. This is just gonna go down into that factory hole we're gonna start it by hand, just as if it was a thumb screw. Now the top of this one, if you notice, we're not going to tighten this one with our lock. We're gonna do it like the other factory one is. You'll notice we have that straight, straight cut for our straight screwdriver. So now we're gonna tighten it down with our screwdriver tight. Now if you wanna lock it and tighten it and untighten it with the lock, you can. It still has those half moons cut, but as you notice, there's not a lot of room, so well, really well thought out. They're gonna go ahead and give us the ability to do this with a screwdriver. At this point, we simply put our lock on it, we push it down, and we close that lock. Now it can spin around to wherever we need to be to put our key in it, but at this point, our seat is secure. No one's gonna steal it. They can't steal it. And you're gonna get two keys. Definitely you need two, one with you, one so you can find if you lose one. But remember, we're gonna sell sets of these. So if you got a bike with bags and you buy our bag locks, which are really nice, because if you forget to lock that lid, people are known to steal your bag. On top of that, with the large audio systems, they'll pry the lids open and take the whole bag just to get your subs, just to get your speakers. It's terrible people, of course. If you catch them, I hope you take care of them. <laughs> and you're thinking that, oh, they better not steal my stuff, because if I catch them, well, the fact is this gives us peace of mind. It's gonna allow us to eat dinner. It's gonna allow us to go somewhere and not go to jail for beating somebody up for trying to steal our seat afterwards because they can't get away with it. But we're gonna have over a hundred different key codes. So you don't have to worry about somebody having the same key coming up and doing it. But if you'll reach out to us and tell us you wanna buy multiple locks, you can either give us your old key code and we'll match it up or you can just tell us when you're ordering, I want bag locks, I want a seat lock, or maybe you want a solo seat and a regular seat lock that match and key code. Just give us a call. We'll match that up and make sure you get a set that all goes together. I think this is an awesome product. Robert Becker is an American, but he's also a veteran. And we love our veterans. We love supporting our veterans. We love American-made products and supporting those. And man, he's a Harley rider too. He did this because he saw the need. We love supporting our friends and other people and their great ideas here at Volunteer Audio. All these are available at volunteeraudio.com. Just click on the motorcycle section go down to safety and security, and you're gonna see all the different lock options. Just pick your style bike 
and all the ones for yours are gonna pop up. It's very easy, they're in stock, they'll ship very quickly. We always do free shipping, and there's no sales tax if it's sent outside of the state of Tennessee. And if you're a military veteran, reach out to us. We got a special code that you can put in to give you a military discount on this as well. Because remember, we love and want to support our veterans and we're so thankful for your service. Please like this video. By doing it, it's gonna move us up in search results. It's gonna help volunteer audio. We appreciate that. If you have lock, if you have lock questions for your seat, maybe you have comments about it you wanna make, do it below. I'll be really, really quick to answer those questions, those comments, and we'll make sure that you're answered. Uh, and if you wanna call us so you can order a set with matching keys, one 30 audio You're gonna get a real live person that works at Volunteer Audio. It's not a call center overseas. You're gonna to get to talk to somebody that knows what they're doing that can help you and would love to speak to you about your bike or your project. Also, we do awesome audio upgrades. We'd love to talk to you about that as well, or even Chromeworks exhaust if you wanna make your bike sound better on the engine side also. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.